Okay, group four. So today we are going to be designing and creating our own lifeboats. These lifeboats have to be able to have a movable shelter. They must be able to move through the water and they must be able to be strong and sturdy. So here are a few different examples of lifeboats. As you can see on the right, this is the first lifeboat that was from the Titanic. So these are now our more modern, our more modern lifeboats. Some lifeboats have different shapes. They are different sizes. So all depends on what, uh, what design that you come up with. So we have a range of resources at our table. So we have cardboard, styrofoam, plastic material, wool, straws, glue gun, which will be used by Miss Glenn, who is going to help to put the to glue these boats together. So you could have tape, string, and then we will test the final product of these boats with either a hairdryer or a fan, and this will be completed in the water tray. So our activity is that our, we have to design and create a boat with a movable shelter that will with with a movable shelter that will be able to freely move through the water when it is going through some wind, which will be created by our um our fan or the hairdryer. Okay, so using the materials provided, pupils must create an icebreaker boat. The boat must be able to hold a small figure standing up. It must be able to move freely on the water without capsizing. The boat must have a st sturdy structure. I must have a movable shelter and it must be able to move with wind using a fan or a hairdryer. Okay, so this is what our task is for today. We must also be able to record every step that we take. So every photograph that we use on the iPad because we are going because we are going to be presenting these to the class and we are going to be able to show our method of how we worked out how to create our boat.